Look out. Bette Midler tweeted this out. Oh. So she was upset about the abortion ruling. And she tweeted out, women, women of the world, all caps. We are being stripped of our rights over our bodies, our lives, and even our name. They don't call us women anymore. They call us birthing people or menstruators and even people with vaginas. Don't let them erase you. Every human on earth owes you. That created quite a stir. That created quite a stir. In fact, Martina Navratilova, who was a LGBTQ champion her entire career, even had a trans coach and took all the slings and arrows, carving out a place for LGBTQ people in polite society. She retweeted it. And she said, careful bet, you will be called transphobic too or worse. Uh -huh. Because she's caught in Martina Ravichilova it has spoken out about trans women in sports. And that's what I've always said. It's up to the women. It's not up, I, don't, so I don't have a dog in that fight. It's up to the women. And she's one of the women. She was an LGBTQ leader. And then she went to persona non grata because she, she's not for trans women competing against cis women. So that's where this comes from. Down here, she probably tweeted without checking her people. I suspect a mea culpa is forthcoming. Meaning from Bette Midler. I checked her Twitter feed today. There was no mea culpa. So be maybe there's one since I came to the studio, but as of, as of this broadcast, Bette Midler has not apologized. No mea culpa yet. And so how did people respond? How did the gay community respond? Well, this guy says, surprise, surprise, Bette Midler is a turf. Now that stands for trans exclusionary radical feminist. Is that what that stands for? See, tell me what that stands for, turf. I know it's trans exclusionary radical feminist. Okay, I was right. Now Dave Chappelle says he's a turf. I don't know if he said that jokingly. Maybe he said that jokingly. So, um, hey. Uh, so, that person calls her a turf. This gaze against groomers says, can't believe we're about to say this, but we agree with Bette Midler. Stop erasing women. That's gaze against groomers. So, there's two different gays. That's New York political mom, so maybe she's not even gay. Maybe she is. Here, here's someone. Look at this. Uh, maybe you can't read that. I'll read it to you. It says, no, this is replying to Bette Midler. No, don't fall for the anti-trans panic fake nonsense. No one is erasing women. In a few small healthcare cases... Where appropriate, they are using trans-inclusive language. That's all that's happening. So that got 22,000 likes. So is that all that's happening? Because if that's all that's happening, then it sounds like Bette Midler may have gotten it wrong. But hang on, let's keep going. Giving birth to every human on the planet is not a few small health care cases. Trans men give birth as well. I didn't know that. See how we're all learning? No one is erasing us. This is from Sarah C. DeSilvi. She's a DNP, FNP, and her pronouns are she, her. I don't know what DNP or FNP stands for. Uh, she says, no one is erasing us, meaning women. We simply must be careful in the case of reproductive justice to include all people who can reproduce, of course. We also must be careful when discussing gender to include all women. If you feel erased by creating room for others, please evaluate yourself. So. Well, hold on. I, I have to reevaluate myself because it says justice to include all people who can reproduce all people. I don't. 
all people who I don't understand that phrase. Are they saying that so trans men who identify as men, so that means their gender is men, male, uh, then can they still have female like a womb and they can get pregnant and give birth. So that's what that means. But other people would then say, well, they're the 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 chromosomes don't change. So then that so so that, that this is the argument. So that's the argument. So there are, I guess, trans men who still have their uh, womb, right? Re reproductive organs. Organs. I don't know if you even, can even call them female anymore. If you're allowed to do that, they're right because right. they're now they're just organs. They're not male or female. So that's, I think, where people start to push back at okay. that point. And it sounded like that's what Bet was doing. But that's not actually what was happening. What is happening is they sometimes use those terms to include when a trans man, I guess, is having, or someone who says they're non-binary, they could also, right? But you've got to have a womb to have a baby. But that doesn't mean you're a woman anymore. It is confusing. And, you know, uh, you got to give people time to catch up. That's all I'm saying. You got to give people time to catch up to this. You got to help people along. You can't beat them over the head at every turn. So. And then cancel them because they don't understand the right. language that they should be using. Right. I mean, I certainly don't. I mean, we talked about this original, like when I started to hear the term cis, I didn't understand what that term was. I didn't understand where that came from. I thought that was, I thought this, yeah, me too. I thought that was made up. I didn't think it was real. <laughs> Uh, here's what Audra says. She says, calling people those things has nothing to do with being inclusive. They could easily be inclusive by stating women and trans people need abortions and give birth. That's her opinion. They don't, they don't do that because the goal is to rip women's identity away from them. The trans, the TRAs who are trans. I don't even know what that TRAs. means. I don't know. Trans right activists. Oh, okay. We're figure we're learning a lot today. So that's her opinion. See, there's that's a different opinion. Here's another one. I'm genuinely fascinated at how members of the majority experience proposed linguistic changes as existential societal threats. Like, even if you think the term birthing people is silly, it has no material impact whatsoever. Now, I don't know about that. I, I think language does have material impacts in, in certain cases. I've brought up, I started years ago, started bringing up the idea of why is it that we refer to women as guys? And what impact does that have on our society that we now use a male pronoun for women? Constantly. When why, first of all, why is that? I have my own theories, but that that's, so I disagree with that. But that's what this person, Michael Hobbs says. He says it has no, doesn't make a material difference, whatever they call you or call it. I would disagree with that. Uh, so Glenn Greenwald jumps in, gay man Glenn Greenwald. Uh, he retweets Martina Navratilova and says, Martina is one of the truly great and brave LGBT pioneers of the 20th century. Sacrificed millions and endured endless public shame to live openly as a lesbian and have a trans coach, etc. But there are millions of straight liberals calling her anti-LGBT as if they own the issue. I say that's very well said. I think she's allowed to have this opinion. And you gotta give her due respect. She's not, I think if you... Uh, she's like a pioneer. She. I think you're turning allies into enemies. And... Well, here's what, so Sharon Davies, MBE, that's, this is her, that's who this is, who's tweeting this, she was an Olympic swimmer, she tweeted this out, she said, females are not small males with less testosterone, we are totally different sex, with different biological challenges to juggle with training and life, we deserve our own classification in sport and absolutely not to race with opposition who we know have an unfair advantage. And then she tweets out these pictures. That's women. That's men. That's see the difference. 
So that's her. So her thing is about sports. You're not allowed to say that, and you're considered a turf. Then you're considered a transphobic and a bad person. I say women are allowed to have that opinion because they're the women. It affects them. And does it does it make you a bad person to have a differing opinion about that? I think you can have differing opinions about that without being a bad person. And if you feel differently than she does about that, it's up to you to persuade people of good faith that that's that that's real. Chris Everett, tennis star Chris Everett retweets that woman, that swimmer. And says, agree, so true, and facts to back this up as well. She's a tennis player. Now, you saw what happened with tennis players. The Williams sisters said they could beat any guy who was ranked 200 or higher. The 208th guy ranked decided to take them on, beat both of them while after playing a round of golf, drinking and smoking. Beat them handily. The guy was ranked 208th in the country, or maybe 14th. He beat the top women without, without breaking a sweat. So that's why Chris Everett knows this. So again, this is up, that's a, these are women. So now are these all bad people because they have a different opinion? A lot of people would say yes, that they are bad people. Uh, here's Macy Gray, of all people. Macy Gray tells Piers Morgan, just because you change your body parts doesn't make you a woman. So it seems like there's there's a backlash happening, right? Because people feel like this. Stop pushing your beliefs on me. This person screaming at someone with a Bible, right? Do you see they have the pride of this or that? So do you see there doesn't seem to be a two-way street? is how people feel, whether that's real or not. That's how people are feeling. And I don't even get this. So this person retweets Bet. I don't even know if I should show this on the show because I don't understand it. I just heard liberal left are now trying to classify the genders as S-E-M-E and U-K-E. I don't, I don't get that joke. Does anybody get that joke? No. I don't get that joke. Well, I don't get that joke. But anyway, and, here, and then one more. There's one more. It says, uh, uh, FR, though, for real, though, I can't tell if the divine Miss M, I guess Midler, is being turfy or if she's just old and not having an understanding of why the language is changing. Either way, cis people are literally obsessed with trans bodies in a way that is giving, is giving desperate and mold, is getting desperate and moldy. I would... Uh, it seems silly to even say that. that but that is the people, other people are being upset with. I, I, no, no, no. See, that's what that's that's not helpful. I don't think that's. I don't think any of that is helpful. And and you know, you're old, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. It's like, hey, how about no? There's a there's a thing, and here's how I can explain it to you. And no, we're not using. We're not using that in when it comes to uh, all women. But you could see how people, so if that is incorrect, if she's incorrect, maybe you correct her in a, in, a, in a way that actually helps people learn and grow. That would be my advice, but who? what do I know? Again, this is not my fight, so I'll leave it up to the ladies. We're going to Chicago, Sacramento, San Diego, Bakersfield. See you there. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all our tickets. Mm -hmm.